Hello again, and we're back. And we've got another MDF kit here from War Cradle Scenix. I got for a bargain price. And it's the Normandy Farm Farmyard Scatter. Yeah. Designed for 28 to 35 mil gains. And how many sheets does this come with? It comes with, it looks like uh, two and a half sheets of MDF there. So you can kind of see it there. There's your kind of half sheet. And so I think that's the three different colors. So you've got your light brown there, you've got your red, and then I think there's a gray. And uh, let's see. So you get pallets, planks, crates, a uh, tractor, and a truck. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to go um, rustle this up and I'll be back again soon once it's all done and dusted. Bye for now. Hello again and we're back. And it took two hours to build and it was, you can see it all here, um, the laser tagging uh, hadn't gone through properly on the build when they were creating it originally. So the tractor looks more like a hedgehog and all the bits kind of broke because far too many tags. So you're trying to cut through the sprue with a knife and you're breaking the sprue frame and all the little bits are getting busted. Yeah, it was a disaster. However, it's not the end of the story because they sent me replacement parts. And here they are here. And they look all good and fantastic. And let's just have a quick comparison. So you can kind of See there, that's what it's meant to look like. Probably easier from the back. You can see that there's one little tag there, another there. So there's only two tags on that bit. As you can see here, there's way too many. So what to look out for? Because I've actually had to ask for another one to be returned and that's this kit here, which I'll do a video on eventually. But this one had the same issue. Let me just take this out. So I'll tell you the things to spot. You can see it here. You can see it, how many little tags there are. It's easier if I go over to the wheels here. You can see how many little tags there are. And getting that out of the sprue frame is an absolute nightmare. And it's just because the laser tagging thing is uh, not been set right. So yes, it's uh, an unfortunate thing. It does happen sometimes. However, the company War Cradle Scenics will replace these parts if you have an issue. So you can always go to the website and get it fixed. Now these ones didn't have an order number on them, but if you contact them directly, you can suddenly get the replacement parts. Now I have offered to return this so they can spot and find the issues in future. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you because it's good to see that a company is happy to fix problems and that they're, they're gonna do it quite swiftly. So I'm gonna get to making this. Now, the broken one took me about two hours Let's see how much it, how long it takes for me to get through these. See you again soon. Bye for now. Hello again, and we're back. And here it is, all painted, done and dusted. And there's all the paints and the acrylics that we've used, acrylic inks, I should say. And if I take this, and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see the more obvious looking slots here. They're a little bit on the unsightly side. Um, and there was a slot right there as well, which we neatly all covered up. Just using card and cable ties and yes. But more about the paint job. So I've used the White House paint and I stippled it all up with that. I've added on, oh yes, I was me just using the, the bottom of the vehicle as a kind of a palette for also is painting. Yes. 
Um, I started off with a rusty layer first and then stuck on the green and then hit it up again. And I think if you build it up in layers like that, it adds to the, the whole kind of texture and weathering. And then I've just gone over the tiles with a black marker pen because I was lazy. And for this one here, I've actually added a few little extra things. I've added on a handle here, which is just a piece of wire that I've drilled and pinned in. I've added these bits of card on top, and then I've poked it with a pin to create the impression of rivets. That's just a rhinestone there, I think you saw that earlier. As well as, I've added a piece of plastic sprue frame there, just to look like an extra bit of the engine coming out and in again, because you tend to see that a lot with uh, tractors. The funnel here, if I look on this picture here, you can see it's normally rather squarish. So what I've done is I've just wrapped a piece of card around it just to make it look a bit more like a typical funnel. And then I've used bits of the MDF sprue frame just to glue them on, various junctures here and there, and that's just a piece of wire that I've curved around just to add on a little bit of extra detail on top because as you can see there on the top, it's uh, it's a bit plain. So little little hints and details just here and there, just to complement what's already there. As well as I've uh, hole punched out some card using our rotary hole punch, just to add on a little bit of extra details on the hubcaps for these wheels. And I think that's worked a treat. So I'm quite happy with that. But remember we had a broken kit, so I thought I'd experiment with that, and so I made some even more rusted up vehicles. And here they are. So I thought I'd try something new, which is to throw on some cat litter and make it a kind of a textured paint. So it was cat litter, PVA, and paint. And I think that's created quite a nasty, rusty looking, infected kind of uh, texture. It suddenly looks like it's not fresh off the factory line, that's for sure. Yes, so we've managed to salvage those busted up builds by turning them into rusted wrecks. So yes, um, would I recommend this kid? Absolutely. But that's all I've got for you today, so thanks again for watching, good riddance, and mm, bye.